Today is May 11. Today's quote is entitled, Happiness. If you want to be happy, don't try. Make someone else happy. If you want to be unhappy, try hard to be happy. So this was, um, basically this was Prahlad Maharaj's um, philosophy on happiness. And it's based on the principle that if you don't know how to do something and you try to do it, often you make more problems than you're trying to solve because if you don't know how to do something, like you don't know how to fix something, you try to fix it, you can make it worse. Sometimes we see that in relationships. We're trying to, we've made a mistake and we're trying to make up for it. And in trying to make up for it, we don't really know how to make up for it properly, and then it becomes worse. So I'm sure you have experience with this. So Pallad Marsh is saying the same thing, that because people don't know how to be happy, then the harder they try to be happy, the more unhappy they become. And of course, we have experience of this. We see this in our own life. We see this in the lives of others around us. So then Pallad Marsh said, well... There's actually a simple way to be happy, which most people wouldn't conclude on their own. The simple way to be happy is don't try, because really in the mode of passion, the harder you try to become happy, as Krishna said, it, it results in misery. So that's, that's Prahlad Maharaj's realization, because everyone's trying to be happy in the mode of passion. The harder they try, the more the consequence of that happiness will cause unhappiness. So, so on one, one hand, you get the happiness, for a while, but on the other hand, you get the misery. So that's his point. And then the other point, which we were explaining a few days ago, is that in making others happy, you become happy. Just like in giving others knowledge, we become enlightened. That's why we like to teach. That's why we like to share Krishna consciousness, because it clarifies it for us, and we feel more Krishna conscious giving it. It's a, so it's the same way with happiness. You make others happy. You become happy. And we know, everybody knows, to give is better than receive. But we're so conditioned to try to find happiness by getting for ourselves. We forget that the highest happiness is in giving. And that's why those who are giving Krishna consciousness, they're always happy. Because they're not trying to be happy for themselves. And so when we try to be happy for ourselves, it's quite difficult. You've probably experienced it. It's quite a battle because we're not really meant to be happy satisfying our senses. So it just, it's like, it's kind of like an endless frustrating loop of dissatisfaction. And as soon as you try to make someone else happy, some way bring someone to Krishna some way give them Krishna consciousness. Even even on the material level, just doing a good deed will make you happy materially. It's just the nature of happiness is that it comes through service. It doesn't come any other way. And so our society has, and our conditioning both together, has convinced us that happiness comes through possession, through power, through manipulation, through gratifying the senses. And <clears throat> all that brings is some little gratification for a while. But happiness is something else. So Krishna says, until you come to Satvagun, you won't be happy. So Satvagun, that's when things will simplify. And there'll be more generosity in Satvagun. I, want, I don't know if I told you this story, but it was once I had a godbrother. No, I still have a godbrother. Still, he's still alive. I had a conversation with a godbrother who said that he had a business, was doing quite well, and he was accumulating money. And he was in Vrindavan, and um, they were raising money for the Goshala. And he gave a large donation. Maybe maybe this money he was accumulating, about $25,000, was sitting in his, the bank for a while, and it was actually causing him anxiety. <clears throat> because it was just money as potential gratification. It's also potential service, depending how you use it. And so he donated it all to the Goshala. He got inspired. They were doing a fundraising program. 
And then I saw him afterward and he said, um, I feel so much better now because that money was such a burden. And I feel so good that I've given it. I feel so blissful. So there, that money couldn't have made him happier than by giving it. There's nothing he could have bought would have made him as happy as giving that, that donation. So that's I think it's a very good example, especially for those of you who have money and maybe have more than you actually need. Uh, you want to consider how you can use that money. And that money will make you happier using it in Krishna's service than it would in your own service. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada. Shri.